Welcome to unboxing number four, where we pay a salute to our donors and we open up the contents of our mailbag. We got a lot of packages this week, so let's get started. I'm on top of it. I don't know who this is from. There is no name. It says birthday LP for Matt and a presidential gift for Craig. Presidential? It is some sort of Lego man. A Lego Abraham Lincoln. He's not put together yet, but that's something for me to do. Thank you. Hot diggity damn. It's They Might Be Giants. Oh! I guess it's their new album. They Might Be Giants, boy. They Might Be Giants. All right. Thank you, Anonymous. Maidstone and Other Films by Norman Mailer. Oh, no. Bloody real-life caught-on-camera tussle between Rip Torn and Rip. Norman Mailer. How do you think he got the name Rip Torn? He ripped and teared <laughs> into Mailer. I'm looking forward to diving back into the insanity that is Norman Mailer. Yes, uh, and Maidstone is where to start. And uh, that was from M.R. Berkey. Matt, still have a record to send you, and Craig, get a haircut. I've been meaning to tell you for some time. Yeah. Whose land is this? This is my land. Is this being sung by a tiger? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I'm a goofy bird! I find it hard to believe that there's a couch yet to be torn up by lions in this. <laughs> up on the roof! Go on the roof, hide in a barrel. You'll fall in the river. We'll meet you on the shore over here, okay? That's cool? It's happened before. It's all part of the circle of life. <laughs> Quite a few people have donated to the show, including Tristan, Marie, Patrick, Aaron, John, Cody, Lindsay, Abraham, David, Elizabeth, Isaac, Stephanie, Brian, Kevin, and Paul. Thank you all. Well, we've got more donors to get to, but we'll do that later in the show. We didn't get any postcards this week, but we did get several letters. I suspect a lot of these contain postcards. It's right here. These are from Mr. Benedict. Oh, and it's a old-fashioned Minuteman National Historic Park in Concord, Massachusetts. It's the postcards heard around the world. History buff. You haven't heard of Lexington and the Concord? I didn't say I haven't heard of them. I said you're a history buff. Don't put words in my mouth. Looks like this is from the UK. It's an old school in the oh. UK. They have a lot of those. From Matt. This is from Rugby. Oh, that's the same guy who sent the other one. Oh. Yeah. Time for some customer questions here. Uh, Robert Blade Lewin writes, Are you two as nice in person as you appear on Welcome to the Basement? Uh, I know that Craig is very personable. I consider myself a, a nice person. Yes, you, you are a nice person. However, uh, I do have uh, some social anxiety. Not a lot of people know that about me. I'm real okay in front of a camera or even in front of an audience, but one-on-one, -on -one, I tend to get a little nervous and sometimes withdrawn. Some people look on this as being aloof and unfriendly. I give that impression to a lot of people when I first meet them. But I would say over the last few years, it seems as though that has been tamped down a little bit and you seem to be a little bit more open to talk when we run into people uh, who know you and you don't know them. Well, that tone is good for me. Bethany Pretty writes, do you have any pre- or post-taping rituals? Craig arrives uh, 15 to 20 minutes late. So that's very important for me to get in the right headspace. Sometimes we eat together. If Tona and I have cooked a, a meal, we'll invite Craig to join us. So. Particularly if it's on a weeknight, right after I get off work. One of my favorite rituals that we don't do very much often is sometimes we just hang out after the show. Yeah. We'll listen to records. It's a good time, and we don't do that often enough. Normally, uh, Tona will bring up something we hadn't thought about, and we're like, oh, crap. Why didn't we say that? That's so brilliant. If you have questions, please send them to us in comments or on Facebook. Facebook. We would love to hear them, and we will answer them, maybe. And now, the Zatoichi Report, my continuing quest to watch all of the Zatoichi movies in one year. I've been real busy lately. I thought there was going to be yet another week of nothing to report, but late last night, I found myself with 80 or so free minutes, and so I watched the ninth film in the series, which is Adventures of Zatoichi. It's a bit dull. And yet it has a very promising title. Adventures of <laughs> Zatoichi. At the same time, it's a kind of a bland, non-committal title. Yeah. However, there's a great moment in it. Zatoichi goes through a bunch of dudes, slicing them all down like he does. And then you see in the background, there's a guy who sort of Cowering. gets down and yeah. pretends to be dead. And then Ichi is walking away and he looks back. And then he goes... And the guy gets up and runs off. <laughs> it's just a really nice moment. Today's poem, 
was inspired by Zatoichi. I think I wrote this probably after watching the third one. Lay it on me. It is called Blind Swordsman. The teapot is empty. Sandals are to the left, cane to the right. He can hear the candles burning. Hear the empty sandals. Cane. Teapot. Every unmoving thing makes noise. Every moving thing roars like sight. Stand up. Duck under that thing. Twelve steps to the door. Some slain brother behind and his vengeful brother ahead. The old wheel makes its familiar noise. It's time I started regretting things. Outside now, the bamboo trees sway above. The width of the bridge. Water on both sides. Three sets of footsteps on the path. More challengers. Grudges on top of grudges. And after all of that, two appointments in the next town. Massages and possibly something with the sword. The sword is also a cane. It leads him. He follows it. He can't help it. Follows to the edge of the water. The foot of the bridge. The final darkness that lies beyond the current darkness. Above the moon is beautiful. So he is told. How do I know that's about Zatoichi? That could be about any blind swordsman. It's true. We got more packages. This one is from Brittany Stratton. This one is from Samson. Samson. You gotta be Samson to open his envelope. We got some DVDs over here. Dogtown and Z-Boys. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Best Worst Movie about the making of Troll 2 and its aftermath. Winnebago Man. Brittany hasn't been feeling very well, so she's been on the couch binge-watching our show. She wants her husband Jesse to know that she is blowing him a thumb kiss and that that knowledge will blow his mind. So we got here some vintage looking postcards. Australia. Alabama Space and Rocket Center. I've been there. Oh, it looks like we've got some old Star Wars trading cards. Oh, That's cool. I had those when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember these. Yeah. Then we've got some other cards that appear to be trading cards of a different uh, sort. This is great. Thank you. Yeah. And now the rest of our generous donors. Maurizio, Dan, George, Sierra, Lewis, Robert, Corey, Danielle, Jonathan, Sarah, Emily, Joe, Merlin, and John, who says thanks for making me smile. Here's another record. I'm going to be listening to music soon. Oh, I know this. This is the Rocky Erickson record that he made with the band Ockerville River. Big fan of Ockerville. Ockerville. True love cast out all evil. I've heard this, but I haven't heard it on vinyl. Thanks, T.A. T.A., my vinyl hookup. Ockerville River wrote one of the best songs about movies. But I forget the title of it. They wrote a song that name checks the crystal corner here in Madison. Yeah. Our mailbag is empty, our donors have been thanked, and so we bid you a fond adieu. This Friday, you can watch the new episode of Welcome to the Basement. We'll see you then. See ya. Good job. Thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, just trying to do my job here. Sit here, talk fluently in English. You want to take back that good job now? Mm, thinking about it. Okay. <laughs>